Human nature is evil, and goodness is caused by intentional activity. The petty man is eager to make boasts, yet desires that others should believe in him. He enthusiastically engages in deception, yet wants others to have affection for him. He conducts himself like an animal, yet wants others to think well of him. The person attempting to travel two roads at once will get nowhere. A person is born with feelings of envy and hate. If he gives way to them, they will lead him to violence and crime, and any sense of loyalty and good faith will be abandoned. Pride and excess bring disaster for man. A person is born with a liking for profit. If the gentleman has ability, he is magnanimous, generous, tolerant and straightforward, through which he opens the way to instruct others. If knowledge and foresight are too penetrating and deep, unify them with ease and sincerity. In order to properly understand the big picture, everyone should fear becoming mentally clouded and obsessed with one small section of truth. When you locate good in yourself, Approve of it with determination. When you locate evil in yourself, despise it as something detestable. Those whose character is mean and vicious will rouse others to animosity against them. Sacrifices are concerned with the feelings of devotion and longing. When people lack teachers, their tendencies are not corrected. When they do not have ritual and moral principles, then their lawlessness is not controlled. Since the nature of people is bad, to become corrected they must be taught by teachers, and to be orderly they must acquire ritual and moral principles. If there were no human nature, then there would be nothing for deliberate effort to be applied to. If there were no deliberate effort, then human nature would not be able to beautify itself. A person is born with desires of the eyes and ears and a liking for beautiful sights and sounds. If he gives way to them, they will lead him to immorality and lack of restriction and any ritual principles and propriety will be abandoned. When a man sees something desirable, he must reflect on the fact that with time it could come to involve what is detestable. When he sees something that is beneficial, he should reflect that sooner or later it too could come to involve harm. If the quickness of the mind and the fluency of the tongue are too punctilious and sharp, moderate them in your activity and rest. If the impulse to daring and bravery is too fierce and violent, stay it with guidance and instruction. Whether the gentleman is capable or not, he is loved all the same. Conversely, the petty man is loathed all the same. If the blood humor is too strong and robust, calm it with balance and harmony. Thus, that one can find no place to walk through the breadth of the earth is not because the earth is not tranquil, but because the danger to every step of the traveler lies generally with words. I once tried standing up on my toes to see far out in the distance, but I found that I could see much farther by climbing to a high place. I say that human nature is the original beginning and the raw material, and deliberate effort is what makes it patterned, ordered and exalted. Human nature and deliberate effort must unite, and then the reputation of the sage and the work of unifying all under heaven are thereupon brought to completion.